Hey, Ty here. So Oculus finally released the version 14 of the Oculus software on the Oculus Quest, fixing one of the biggest problems that we had before if we were streaming with the Oculus Link. Also, Virtual Desktop got a big update to have better streaming with Oculus games and VRSS added some games. So let's get to it all together and let's see what's going on with this version 14 update and with all the others updates that are gonna be very useful with the Oculus Quest. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's go right away into the topic without waiting any longer. Oculus finally fixed the microphone for the Oculus Link connection with the Oculus Quest. That means that you're gonna be able to use the integrated microphone to now finally chat with people in games when you're used, of course, the Steam VR or the Oculus version PC version of the game instead of just the standalone headset by itself. It was a problem that we had since the very beginnings and finally Oculus fixed it. So if now you wanna play VR chat, a complete VR chat directly from the PC, well, we're gonna be able to talk with people without any problem or without using external microphones. So thumbs up for that. Now, another thing that they improved actually in the Oculus Link is the fact that now there is a new home button and that means that you're gonna be able to get back to the Oculus Quest home environment much easier than before. Before we had to go to the settings and then close the connection to go back to the regular Oculus Quest home, instead now it's gonna be there right away. So great improvement to make these hybrid ads uh, much, much better. Now, this update is running out this week, so uh, you should get it in these days anyway. Just keep it connected and usually you get a notification on the phone on when to install it. Then you just connect your quest to the internet and it's gonna do everything by itself. You can go in about section in the settings and see what version are you on in that moment. They also fixed another thing that before uh, was a little problem Problematic, the fact that if you didn't have the same version of the Oculus software on the PC and the same version of the Oculus software on the Quest, well, you will not be able to use the Oculus Link connection. Instead, now you can do it without any problems. So if you have version 14 on the PC and version 13 on the Quest, you're still able to use the Oculus Link connection. But if you go to previous releases, well, uh, you're not gonna be able to use this. So uh, keep your stuff updated anyway. Now, this version brings many bug fixes actually to the software as well. So I'm gonna leave in the description below uh, the complete change log of what happened with this update. But I wanna point out something else in this video because if you are using the PC to stream your games to the Oculus Quest, via cable or wireless, well, an app that you're gonna be very interested in is Virtual Desktop. It just got a recent update, it's gonna arrive very, very soon, where we're finally gonna be able to use the Oculus Quest wireless to play our games on the Oculus software directly without using Steam VR. Because if you might know, uh, we cover many, many programs prior to this video. Uh, virtual desktops work very, very well. Before to play your Oculus games, like Asgard Brat, for example, you had to go before to Steam VR, install also Revive, and then use this game directly. It was a little tricky in a way because we had to do a lot of steps. Instead, now Virtual Desktop fixed it, so we're gonna be able to recognize the Oculus Quest directly as an Oculus Quest on the Oculus software and use it wireless without any problem. Now, we know that the latency is a little worse than the one we have on the Oculus Link, of course, because we're not using a cable, but we're going wireless. I really suggest five gigahertz connection. If you have uh, some uh, channels that are not used by your router, use those that is gonna be much better, but expect anyway, the tracking of the controllers because a little slower uh, than what you have with a cable, of course. But uh, the most important thing is that tracking for the ad is perfect, so you're not gonna get sick using wireless. To install it, you have to own it anyway on the Oculus software, then go on SideQuest and install the version on SideQuest. Just notice that if you don't own it on the Oculus store, well, you're not gonna be able to install it on SideQuest. That's just a little update version. Once you install that, well, you're fine, and you can use, of course, the streaming version that works very, very well. Also a little note, now VRSS, so the NVIDIA version of Super Sampling before we had a rendering, so to have a 4X 
of uh, rendering the middle and outside a little less because we are don't really use it and it works actually very well i made a video about it over here supports now more games and one of those is walking dead sentence sinners and also vr chat by the way that it comes very handy right now so if you're looking to play these games with the best resolution possible well this is another option and very easy to use video over there for sure. That was all guys, this is the update. I think Oculus is working very, very well to make these hybrid experience much, much better. I feel like the microphone was a big deal because you wouldn't really be able to play multiplayer in the same way without using externals microphone or stuff like that. That is not the best thing ever to do. So I'm glad that they fixed this thing and I hope they're gonna keep this fix in the future as well. But let me know what you think about it in the comment below. And as always guys, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, like, subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech, and I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.